I mean, we're about to have a good time. This is so much fun. This is Spectre's brand new NS Pulse 2 five string bass. Just check out the beautiful dark simplicity of this lovely instrument. I'm gonna take you through all the features and then we're gonna ask some very important questions. Will it Wimbish? Will it Star? Will it MCA? Spoiler, yes. <laughs> I've got to say, the pulse basses are very cool. They give you that classic NS curve, but with a bolt-on, and so many of the features that are found in the higher-priced USA Custom Shop basses. So here is the five-string. In dark stain, we have a quilted maple top, solid swamp ash body, roasted three-piece maple neck. Just take a look at that. EMG soap bar pickups attached to the Tone Pump Junior preamp, which I'll talk about more in a minute. Continuing on with the neck, we have this beautiful slab Macassar ebony fingerboard complete with Luminlay side dots. Now you might be thinking, Ian, when am I ever gonna need my side dots to illuminate? I never thought that I would need them until I played a gig with a lighting director that would do blackouts between tunes. <laughs> and then the drummer would count off the next song and you were like, I'm dead, kill me. You're like, okay, maybe, but do they actually light up in the dark? To find out, I handed my camera over to my daughter Everly and we ran a very legit scientific experiment. Are they, <laughs> are they glowing? Yes! <laughs> We have a 35 inch scale on the five string, which just makes this low B monstrous. Check it out. I've got a microphone right here. The bass isn't even plugged in. Listen to this B string. I've got to say the stability of this neck is pretty incredible. When you roast a neck, it essentially just removes all of the moisture and kind of caramelizes the wood together and strengthens the structure of the neck. And that translates into energy when you play this bass. It's not even plugged in. Okay, let's plug it in. <laughs> The whole bass is so even and delightful to play all the way down low to up high. That's the sound of the bass with both pickups on full. Let me just show you the neck pickup. Here's the bridge. And I have to say, this preamp is really cool. There's no center detent, and it's just two band bass and treble. What it reminds me of is the classic Music Man Stingray preamp, where you just had two knobs for active bass and treble. So I've been running it with the bass and treble at about 70%, which is sort of how I like to run a Stingray. But check it out, if I take away all of the treble and boost the bass up a touch more, and then if I do the opposite, right, I take the bass down a touch, boost the treble up a bit, select that back pickup. But I think one of my favorite sounds with this instrument is just running the two pickups all the way up and boosting bass and treble to about 70 or 80%. Sounds awesome with thumb. Sounds great with fingers. And of course, also sounds great with a pick. So whenever I pick up a new Spectre bass, I always want to play the classic lines that I associate with the brand. So it's time to answer the pertinent questions. Will it Wimbish?
Yes. Will it star? Yes. Will it MCA? Yes! Now, I mean, obviously with that last sound, that is really effect dependent, right? But there's something about the stability and evenness of notes on a Spectre that when you turn on a big fuzzy synth sound like that, it sounds kind of like a synthesizer. So it makes me want to do more stuff like that, right? Where you turn on an octave pedal, maybe some drive and some chorus and play some other classic lines that maybe weren't played on a Spectre. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a cool instrument. Also, just check out the way this matte finish gleams in the light. It's not too reflective, but somehow it sheens really nicely. Pretty cool. So there you have it, Spectre NS Pulse 2 five string. They just keep putting out the coolest stuff. I have been Ian Martin Allison. We'll see you in the next one. <gasps>